much different is the feeling now and maybe it has getting ready for regular season games up to this point? Um, intensity is a little hot, um, you know, and um, I think everybody ready to go. And what do you think you guys need to do better against Phoenix to get this thing going? Uh, we just can't turn it over. Um, anytime we don't turn it over, you know, we, we right there neck and neck with them. But when we turn it over and get them such a big lead in the first quarter, it's hard to, you know, bring them down because they got tough shot makers on their team. Do you see, is that a lot of you guys just making mistakes? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, it's just us making mistakes, yeah. making the pass one beat later, one beat too late. Um, me playing in crowds, they putting three people on me. So I just got to, you know, make the right reads and trust my teammates. And when my teammates hit those shots, they're going to have to eventually get out of it. And how, how, how do you walk that line of you've done a great job all season of trusting your teammates getting it, but also knowing that there's going to be times where you got to be aggressive yourself, yeah. right? Like, how do you, um, you kind of go about that? I mean, when I see the lanes and the, the, the space, I got I to gotta go. And it may not be a lot, but when I see it, I got I to gotta take it, take advantage of it, because I, I haven't been doing that in the last few matchups. Um, I've just been playing into their hands, getting off of it, getting off of it every time. What's it been like guarding KD? It's been fun. Yeah, it's been super fun for sure. What have you learned about his game? I mean, you grew up watching him as your favorite player. What, what what do you learn about a guy's game when you when you guard him? him? Yeah. Um, <laughs> as of, from what makes it different from watching him when I was yeah. young and guard him that he's he's actually really that good. <laughs> like you know how you be like, man, he ain't that good. When I get there, like I shut him down, and then you get there and you like, ah, he is that good. So I think yeah, that's the main thing. And when uh, around, around Christmas after the Oklahoma City loss and after the Dallas loss, you said you felt like you had more bullets in the chamber um, that, that you wanted to, to fire there. And then you kind of like went away from that and said, no, I do actually need to be involved in my team. It's more than you've kind of sustained with that. What, what was the turning point there where you were like, it doesn't need to be you having leaving bullets in the chamber or whatever, that, that feeling? Um, you know what I'm asking? I mean, yeah, I mean, just trusting my teammates, man, because uh, you need them. You, you need your teammates to win a game, um, especially when they guard and how they guard me, man. They put two, three people on me. So, I mean, I feel like the shots that I take are the bullets that I'm going to be able to, you know, let go. And the other bullets that I left in the chamber is for my teammates. And um, if they make those shots, when I find them, when they open, they make those shots, it's going to be hard to beat us. If they're running, sir. Yeah, for sure, but I'll be all right. If they're running two or three people at you, how much of a benefit, though, is it to have a cat back for the series like yeah. this and that type of situation, though? Uh, it's super big, man, because this whole week he, he's able to get his rhythm um, and uh, find himself, get his get his rhythm back, find his swag, and um, it, it's going to be big for us. How eager are you for the postseason? I mean, you got to bring it during the regular season, but, I mean, this this is showtime now. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, it's super fun, man. I'm, I'm ready to play. I, we play Saturday at 2.30, so um, I'll be ready. What's it going to mean to play with KD and those other guys on the Olympic team? It's going to mean a lot. It's going to be super fun um, seeing those guys go to work, seeing how they work every day on their craft, because I feel like I work super hard on my craft every day. So seeing the GOATs work on their craft may show me that I'm not working hard enough. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Have you thought about how you might crack that rotation or the starting lineup with all those guys? Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a realist, man, so I know it's probably not going to happen. Um, and I can't be mad about it. It's the, the greatest Steph Curry. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, uh, Kawhi Leonard, um, MB, Anthony Day. It's going to be hard for me to start. It may be hard for me to even find minutes. Yeah. So I'm just going to enjoy my time, um, enjoy working out alongside of them, um, enjoy being on the bench, clapping them on, cheering <laughs> them on. You know, um, If they need me, I'll be out there and be ready to go. Is your time coming for that? Uh, I, I hope so, yeah. And how much do you take away from the last couple of years, you guys getting there? And now it takes something else just to get a little bit farther. What do you take away from the last couple of years to kind of try to ensure a different result this year, Rob? Um, just being able to close our games a little better. Um, you know, once again, trusting my teammates. Um, not playing hero ball at the end, taking all the tough shots. Trusting my teammates when they open, hit them, um, you know, and live with the results. And Cap was just out here, was talking to us about um, kind of how much, how important this, this series is, you know, for this team and for him individually too. He's got a big defensive matchup in this and then also needs to be part of the, the offensive equation here too. How do you see Cat in, in this series and what he needs to do? I see Cat being the MVP of the series if we win it um, because 
like I said, they're going to put two and three on me, and, and he's he's the best player on the team. So they're going to put two two and three on me, and you leave the best player on the team with one on one. Um, I think that's a, that's something that we live for. And um, yeah, he takes the responsibility on defense, and if he does a great job, then we'll come out on top. When you look at the just the overall defensive matchup and, and kind of figuring out that that puzzle, as, as Finch likes to say, is it, is a matter is it really just a matter of cleaning up turnovers that leads to their. That's offense? all it is, man. Um, because they got, like I said, they got tough shot makers, man, and takers. You know, so um, and they're not gonna make them all the time. They they gonna they gonna make some, but they're not gonna make them all the time. We just can't fewer they they offense get them open looks we can't keep giving them open looks we turn the ball over at a high clip in the first quarter against them every time and they give them open looks the bills the bookers they get open threes Allen's get open threes um i think if we if we're able to get a shot up we ain't got to make them all the time but just get a shot up and not turn it over and get back and set our defense and have rudy as the anchor i think the game is going to be a lot different and is the idea of if if towns is out there and he is making Shots and you're making the right play. That eventually will loosen up those. Two I hope so. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so for sure. And in addition to them throwing two and three at you, Beal has said after the last two, "What's the strategy?" He says, "Follow the shit out of them." Yeah. Like, <laughs> how, how do you? They be following the shit out. Of me. <laughs> how, how do you kind of like stay focused and composed even if you're not getting that, or they are just being super physical with you that way? Like, um, the physicality through. doesn't bother me, man. Um, I'm a physical player, um, but the fouling definitely bothers me because. Like somebody else get fouled, they're gonna call it. But it's the postseason, so it it wouldn't bother me at all. I mean, I played twice in the postseason, and I don't really, I'm not even gonna look for a foul in the postseason because I already know what's going on. So, yeah, I'll be all right. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, yes, sir.